your girl Keisha back at you with another video. So I've been doing the weekly post. Hope y'all like that. But I record like two, three videos a week. So I have a lot of I have a lot of content that I may or may not ever publish. But YouTubing to me is like journaling. Instead of writing down my feelings, I just record them. So I love my bathroom that was one of the main reasons why we decided to get our house even though i hate my closet and i love my bedroom still my bathroom i love the colors i loved everything about it the gray the white not so much a fan of this window behind us but i just love the gray and the white and the countertops and everything so it's dirty right now because i pulled everything out of the cabinet and i hope to get everything back in there when I get a new organizer. So guys, this is the mess I am talking about. I went ahead and pulled everything out of this drawer. This actually goes in my kitchen, but I pulled it out so I could see if I could order two of these. Yeah, I could have did measurements, but I'm a visual person. It's from Spill Product, so I'm gonna wipe that out. And then everything was in two baskets. These little brown baskets. I had one for hair and one for other, and it just overflowed into I can never find anything in that cabinet. Like, this is even all of these are actually my cabinet, except for this one, which surprisingly isn't that bad because I actually share it with my husband. So, my eye stuff, my face stuff, toupees, and my makeup wipes. And this one is a bad drawer. It started off nice, but it's all my, some of my hair products. This is my nail drawer and overflow. I don't even need any of these fingernail polishes because I go to the nail shop. But if I have my little cousins come over, we used to do that. And then that's Chris, he's so good, he locks his up. I'm not that great. So this is mine. I actually did this yesterday. So all today's stuff's been on the floor and I'm waiting on another one of these so I can put that one back in the kitchen for the, yeah, so I can put that one back in the kitchen. And I'm trying to, I mean, for the most part, our counters stay decent only because we have these, I guess, everyday baskets. And when I don't like something on the counter of Mr. McCall's, I just threw it in his basket and he probably does the same thing with mine. But yeah, like I said, I love our counters and ignore our dirty tub, but I love how they carry the pattern from the floor to the side of the tub. So that's everything. So in past, I actually work with the basket system. This is basket one. And this was basket two, and they were right there. And in these two baskets, I would have face products and hair products. But over the years, it seems like they sort of kind of got muddled together. So I decided to use an organization system that I really like that I use in my kitchen. And it's this little storage organiz organizer right here. It's where I put washcloths towels and then we put cleaner on top so i actually ordered two of these because i couldn't decide which one i wanted i have a two drawer card that i really like and that fits in that space and i'll still be able to put things up top and then i ordered three drawer court cart i don't think i'll be able to get it in that cabinet because I'm, I'll have room for the thing, three baskets, but I won't have room to put stuff on top. And I think if I really want to utilize this space down here, I'm going to need to be able to put things up top. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and clean out the bottom of that. Because over the years, products from my baskets have spilled out. And I guess I neglected to clean it. So I'm going to go ahead and clean it. Sorry for the list. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and clean it and I'll be back in a minute to show you guys what I did.
far that looks pretty good. I'm gonna see if I can get that stain back here with the magic eraser. Oh, that's not even really a stain now that I'm in it. It's like extra paint or something. But this is like when they did a poor paint job, I guess. It's under the cabinet. Who invites anyone in their house and say, hey, come look at the cabinets. So yeah, it's, it's pretty disgusting, but it's the inside of my cabinet. I don't think I'm gonna let it bother me too much. But let me see if I can find one other tool to see if I can get some of that out. Thing. This is what I use on my and since I'm down here I guess I'm gonna go ahead and paint I mean why not so I'm just gonna dry it a little bit all done just some white paint hopefully it doesn't dry so streaky but I like it so since it was such a thin layer of paint it's been like maybe four hours and it's dry and I went ahead and put the biggest one in there I don't know why we'll see I really wanted to be able to use this top, but maybe, mm, maybe something short can go up there. I guess let me go ahead and figure that out and I'll show you what I ended up with. So this was my hair drawer and as I'm pulling everything out, it's so gross. everything is out and the only thing is left is my random hair and I guess these come from ponytail holders so I'm gonna clean this drawer out really good and figure out how I'm gonna organize it and this drawer too which is just you know not too much organization has to happen in this one but I'll still pull out everything out of this one too and of course this one is already pretty much this is a shared drawer with me and Chris so it's pretty much already looking good so since I already washed towels for the night towels and rags I pulled some wipes let me get the spray in let's see what I got yes Already so satisfying. Yeah. And again, it's so much hair in here because this is where all my hair brushes and all that kind of stuff was. Okay, that drawer is clean as it's gonna be. And then this drawer, like I said, is mainly email file stuff. I no longer even have this toothbrush. So yeah, I can throw that away. I got the little things in the trash. A couple of things. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this drawer out. And this used to be Chris's drawer. And Chris is so extra. I took it over though. He has little drawer protectors in here.
Well, somewhere in this chaos, I lost my phone. But I just went to get a wipe so I could wipe this drawer out. It's not much going on. It's a couple of pieces of hair. But for the most part, like I said, this used to be Chris's drawer. And I sort of kind of put one thing in it and then now he just has this area. And she told me I didn't have to clean it out because he likes his organization system, which isn't really organized. It's just haphazard to me, but hey, it's not my stuff. So I did like this little thing. It was okay. I'm going to put that back down there. I liked it. It was okay. So maybe tomorrow I can find some more. And there it is. Underneath this stuff was my phone with the light still on. Oh, that's pretty cool. So I have made some progress. I have some hair products, toothbrush, an arm full of twisty ties behind me I have all these hair scarves and combs and brushes but I still haven't went through those baskets hair and since I have to open up Kristen's cabinet to put this in here I guess I'll show you his mess Which he said he did not want me to clean out because he has it under con under control. So it's the next day and my paint job fared well. I even managed to have a whole bag full of trash. And I need to shake my rug. And I think I wiped my bathroom again. If only I could get rid of this clear thing on the side. But this is like my everyday stuff. <sighs> Who knows? <sighs> so it might have took me a week to get everything done, but everything's finally finished. Toothbrush, toothpaste, some face wipes here. Like I said, this drawer was already pretty much done. I just purged a little bit of things out of here that we didn't use. This is my hair. My hair band have bonnets and wraps and head wraps and flat iron that I really use, pins, hair rollers for when my hair is wet, <laughs> hair rollers for when my hair is dry and straight, and then some hair headbands and hair twisties, and then a couple of combs and brushes. Don't really have many combs, maybe two, and have about six brushes. Down here is an area I really don't use as much. It's fingernail polishes. I was testing out fingernail polishes. That's why this one nail is black. And my um, travel kit, which is already packed with things for when we go traveling, I already have them. Um, cotton balls and Q-tips, which I keep cotton balls and cotton rounds right here as well as some twisty ties right there. And down here is where I feel like I made the most dramatic improvement. I purged and cleaned out some products that I no longer use. A lot of different kinds of product for my hair because I either wear my hair straight or I wear it curly. When I straighten it, this is one of my favorite products to use. It's called Smoothing Carol Daughter's Smoothing Blow Dry Cream. Um, I don't really like this gel, but if I'm in a pinch and I run out of my favorite, then I'll have that. This is also something I use for my curly, when I have curly, just depending. This is a new brand that I'm trying, Curl Smith. 
I like it. It's for when I want my hair curly and my mouthwash. And I have different facial moisturizers, either CeraVe or Cetaphil, which I haven't been using them lately because I use a product from my sister now. And back here I have braids, crochet braids. If I ever need, even though I have shower caps, extra shower caps. Um, I have some a wig back here in case I'll ever wear it. But here's the star of the show, this little case. So I'll start with the bottom. In the bottom down here, I have like bath bombs and more bath products back here. And this is from my sister. She it's called ultimate glow organics himalayan rose soothe me baby haven't tried that one i've tried the lavender one and then some various soaps and like bath bombs i have just have nah, just a mini obsession and i might use this one this one says happy birthday i might use that one on my birthday next week and then this drawer i have some face masks different face masks and hair masks that i use and lip mask a student gave me this one and then another Glow Boost Olay Charcoal Mask. Oh yeah, and I also have a charcoal mask in this kit, in that back one right there, a do-it-yourself one. Razors, and then a little face razor. I really want that because it was leopard. And then this is pretty much my contact lens case drawer. I have my glasses. And some contact lens cases that are new. And then up top here, I just have two items that I use every day. My virgin coconut oil and my IC hair polish are both for my hair. And then in the very back, back here, I haven't opened it yet, but it's some um, Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. I'm going to make a face mask with that. And of course, it wouldn't fit in the face mask drawer. So that's pretty much all my products. I do have some in the shower that I guess I can show you. But this is pretty much all my storage for my bathroom. And oh, and I also have one more storage spot. But in our bathroom is where we keep most of our cleaning supplies. These are the everyday shower supplies. And then just some mildew products because in our shower it does get pretty mildew in there I guess because it's such an enclosed space okay in the actual shower so I have products I have body products um face products hair products and my son's products and that's everything and I'm pleased with how everything turned out. If you are new to my channel, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thanks for coming along on this journey. Ooh.